in Priyad in the first half of the 20th century was often seen as something that wasn't beautiful and not desirable. After the Second World War, people look at contemporary art as something very interesting and something to be much more supported than previously where it was viewed with suspicion. And in New York, two major commissions happen. One is the Seagram's Commission asking Mark Rothko to paint paintings for the restaurant in the Seagram's building. And the other one is the Chase Manhattan Commission to Giacometti to create sculpture. They resulted in something in the artist's soul and in the artist's creative process because they had to respond to the power of that institution, the power of that money that they were given. And so they made something very big. Rothko painted over 30 paintings for this commission. And Giacometti created some of the most iconic sculptures of the 20th century. I think the sense of approval that you get when you are being asked by a major corporation to make a work of art must be immense for a young artists and is also even for an established artist. Rothke was established, Giacometti was established, Richter was not. Richter was by then on a stipend by Heiner Friedrich, so his existence was assured. He wasn't going to starve as an artist, but he was far from famous. Now, when you look at Richter's commission by the electrical giant Siemens Elektra, he does the same. He creates a huge work of art. In fact, so big that the first attempt at it fails. The second attempt results in a monumental and very iconic masterpiece of the 20th century.